Hi everybody, my name is Will Johnston. Welcome here to Steezy Studio. I am the co-director of Entity Contemporary Dance as well as a contemporary instructor here at Steezy Studio. We're gonna be opening up the choreographic process today, letting you guys in to kind of see what is involved when it comes to making a dance. You can learn this dance also right now by going to the description and clicking the link. We're gonna be dancing to one of my favorite artists ever, Jack Williams, who combination of Matt, Katie, and Linda Davis most amazing music, super happy to be hearing them today. I think I usually like to start with just <laughs> laying down and listening to the music and maybe letting my body move a little bit. Sometimes this is the most helpful thing for me. I don't get overwhelmed with like moving or overwhelmed with like what's a cool move. I just really am trying to let the energy encourage something in the music. Kind of noticing like what feels exciting to me about this music, what feels potent. When I feel encouraged to do so, I just start letting myself move without thought. I'm just kind of like, what kind of energy comes out of my body? And just letting myself explore a little bit, doesn't matter what it is, try not to judge it. I want to write down and remember the things that come to my head. For me, there's a, a sense of submission. It's so melty and heavy. So I'm writing these kinds of things down. Submission, heavy, like my wrists and my fingers wanting to move a lot. Noting these random things down, whatever I can remember. I don't know what that's going to end up turning into, but these things are really crucial for me as I kind of go on. A tip that I'd recommend and I'm trying to adopt it myself is the idea of saying yes to anything. I am somebody who can spend 45 minutes on four counts, and to me that is the most <laughs> unfulfilling thing ever. Practicing this idea of saying yes is allowing myself to really fall in love with the idea that there's multiple versions of what's gonna happen. So I wanna start with this really flowy, airy part when Matt is singing. And that echo in the back, it's just like, it's, it makes me feel like my skin is melting off in a really beautiful cinematic way. I want to feel it from my gut. Going to have this sort of feeling of coming up here. This just feels so nice. It feels easy on my body. This can end up being something that feels really specific or it feels really specific or it feels really like specific. I want to keep just this sort of deflation happening. And I want to find this. There's like that accent that comes in. Probably gone. I like that the, the accent isn't like a doom, doom, boom, 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 boom. It feels like the tip of a needle still. So even though the dynamic is strong of a switch, it's not harsh. I'm trying to find something for myself that's gonna not force me to hit it hard. I'm gonna feel like this pushes from my stomach maybe. Ugh. One, two, easy. Uh, one, uh. <laughs> one, E, and uh. I have the idea of hands and wrists down. This comes around and closes in front of the hem. So I feel like I can make this happen. I'm gonna say yes to it kind of going around and through. I don't know exactly what the visual of the hands are, but it's okay. Mm. Ah, you know how sometimes like the wave is really effective, it's not effective big, but really effective small. I don't know how to wave well at all. I think that's gonna be the same thing for this. I'll go take my leg out maybe. I don't know. Let's say yes. And this idea kind of pulls our face through. Let's say yes to that. We'll figure out the hands later. Yes, we'll keep moving. Maybe there's this spilling action, this submissive sort of like falling to the side. That's so dramatic, but let's say yes to it. Something coming up from your stomach is like a really visceral feeling and that's feeling appropriate. So I'm gonna go with it. So maybe this like, this feeling of coming through and over, out through. Ugh. I'm gonna say yes to all that. I just wanna feel it first, and to me, that's okay. This is very nerve wracking, and I love it. Okay, so maybe from here, you know what, I'm gonna stop. No, I'm not gonna stop, because I feel like I'm on a roll. There's like these spirals that are happening, and I wanna have my hands going. This is so simple, but it's happening, and we're gonna also say yes to that. Hand, hand. That looks weird, but I'm into it. I like this idea of like going from a curve to a line, just like the basic of dynamics using your opposites. There's something beneficial in finding this curve and finding this curve and then finding a shape. And this is what the shape is. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll just simply bring this foot through 
but I also like that. Oop. Ticketa, ticketa. Well, that's what it is. Front foot here, and then we'll go back to this place. What's happening? Let's go. F let, let me go from the top. We're gonna go here. I like this throw up feeling. I like the simplicity of these hands. This was something here. This was our double hand, one hand. And I did this earlier, so I'm gonna also do that. Ah, I need to remember to also not. I'm just gonna let this happen. I feel familiar with my pathway. I'm just gonna let the music sort of inform me a little bit. Going strong. strong. This will be our idea. Hey, don't go away. Like his voice dies out and you can feel the And I want quite possibly this to be on there. Maybe we can find that. Strong. strong. I'm gonna commit to strong. That's happening. Okay. It's okay for you to just play things four million times and just move with them. Maybe it changes every time, but something organically eventually will lock in and that's what I'm trying to achieve right now. This is going to take two counts. This will take two. And then this will go. I really want to purposely make these feel soft and like melty so that this doesn't happen. Maybe I'll just melt an egg over my head to just encourage that. I think I have an idea. Okay. Hey! Whoa! I don't feel satisfied with that. I just have like an eight left. Let's get out of this second position stance. What if we... Oh, I used to always do these growing up. They're not very impressive, but they're so satisfying to do. So we're gonna do a version of that. I kind of already did this, but let's just bring it to the front this way. So I'll go around one, two, three. Let's let this sort of last here. Let's fish our hand from here to go one, two, three. Doesn't matter what dance I do, I will forever do this hand and be happy about it because it just feels so good. I always felt scared of repetition or recycling. Your material can be interpreted so many different ways and there's so much meat to just one eight count that you can really play with. So don't be afraid of bringing something back from 2007 and revisiting it. I say yes. That's our theme, the idea of saying yes to things. From here, I'm gonna bring this arm through and as it goes around my head, let's just get these feet to move. Heels, toes. Let's go like you're picking up a string here. Pick and then move your head off to the right side. I like this isolation because it forces me to keep it delicate rather than, it's hard to like, <laughs> well, I don't know, that was weird. Maybe there's an idea of still staying like the tip of a needle. So what if this is, uh-oh, uh-oh, brain fart. What the heck? Dang it! Wait, hold on. Uh, ah, we did this thing. Sorry, viewers. So I come back through here, 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 here. <sighs> oh my goodness. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, ah. Can we go from the top? Well, I, I don't know why that's a question for you. Yes, we can. Okay. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, uh. So I'll just let the music kind of inform that as I do it. The song is called Drunken Nights. There's something kind of nostalgic about that energy too and about that concept. Within nostalgia, there's like this idea of revisiting or this idea of like remembering something. In honor of that, I wanna use that whole section again. 
Something we experience in the beginning resurfaces itself in the second part of this, but maybe with a different energy. And to me, it sounds like the energy in the music gets a little bit more percussive, a little bit more voluminous. So maybe there's an idea that we just treat it a little bit less intimately and quiet and a little bit louder. You know what I also like about repetition is it doesn't put the stress on you to need to overproduce. Some days in my head, I'm like, I don't have anything in terms of vocabulary left in me, but I have a lot of energy to construct and edit. So I'm gonna do that because I don't feel in this moment, like I have another phrase in me. And I like the one we just did, so let's do it again. Maybe we can just anticipate that second accent and literally redo the entire thing. And let's do it again, yeah. Ah, yeah, it's definitely more. A cinematic idea just came to my head. It's not super groundbreaking, but the idea of the first section feeling intimate. So if we're shooting this, the first idea would feel like maybe almost sternum above. So you can feel the intimacy of the textures and you won't have to accent too big as a dancer. And there's something a little bit more personal about that moment. And the second section with that increase in bass and snare, say the camera pulls back and it's a more of a full body idea. So I'm gonna write that down and I wanna just say yes to it. First phrase, let's just put some words to that. Intimate quiet, personal. For the second phrase, voluminous. <laughs> I don't know how to spell that, it doesn't matter. I'm putting a Z in it just for fun. Voluminous, loud, explosive, emotive. And there's this middle section. If I were to over choreograph that part, then the entire thing, it doesn't give a break before the next one and a chance to kind of understand that we're going back to something. This thing is nice. I know that there's something in that middle part that's like a doom, 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 doom. I'm just gonna improv it and see what happens. So this is what I kind of want to find here. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a phrase that I made a couple months ago that feels along the same lines of this energy. I want to actually take that phrase and re-put it into here. So I know this is like kind of the phrase I want to play with. Okay, 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 okay. Right after I finished, there was this beautiful little boom, 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 which felt indicative of this moment. So maybe I push it back a little bit so that that can land on that. So if I have three eights to recycle and four eights to fill, I have one eight of movement I don't have. What? Here's where the calculation and maybe the strategy can help. So I'm going to give this a couple counts. Two, three, five, seven. Lock it in, we'll do it again so you know it. Well, that wasn't right. Turn out. Pivot, ball chain. Yeah, that feels good. From here, let's revisit this recycled idea. So the original one went like one, uh, two, uh, three. From here, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Again, I'm referencing my original phrase and just changing it up. I highly recommend that you also study and practice freestyle or improv. And what I'm essentially doing is improving over and over until I make a choice. Ah, I messed that up. This is a little bigger. That feels nice. One, two. This is sloppy. One, three, and then this really moves in. Mm. I think from here will end. That's not horrible. I'm gonna say yes to it. Let's just roll through it and see what it feels like. Going strong.
was extremely deep. It's not a perfect process, but it's a beautiful one. That phrase, if you ever see it again, may be completely different in the future. And I feel okay with that. Thank you guys so much for being here. It was a pleasure to open up this process to you. Remember, you can learn this piece right now by clicking the link in the description and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much from all of us here at CZ Studio and we will see you guys soon. Thank you, 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 thank you. <laughs> There's a lot in here and I feel happy about that. So There's a lot of benefit to this because it helps just lock in those ideas. Dance is so fun in all aspects, especially when it's an experience. So the more you can really put yourself into it on top of just moves, it has more longevity, you know? You can enjoy the experience of it until hopefully the last minutes of our time here on Earth.